All right, YouTube. Today we're going to talk about tools, having tools. As you can see, I have a bucket here full of tools. And uh, if you are planning to survive what's coming, a shit hit the fan scenario, you, my friend, are going to need lots of tools. Because they facilitate life. There's a Hitachi power tool here. Drill. Very good drill. Excellent. I only paid, I think, $28 for that. You need things like these. Levels. And squares. And all kinds of cutting tools for your bug out system or your shit hit the fence system. Because honestly, who's gonna carry tools? So I have this cheap black and decker, but I'm planning to uh, use my system is gonna be Ryobi because that's very affordable. I have a orbital jigsaw. And I got this one too, brand new angle grinder. I just gotta get the batteries for these. And on top of my power chill and my batteries. I got a solar panel, so in case I gotta charge the batteries, I could do it easily. But uh, I think tools are often overlooked. But when you're doing a project, try working without tools. You're going to see how difficult it is. Like right now, I want you to think at your setup in your home. If riots start in your local area, let's say Trump's, Trump, not Trump, but Hillary supporters get out of hand like they are right now. And there's a state of martial law or worse uh, world without rule of order law and order WROL uh, then you gotta cover all your windows and this is my basement as you can see I have lots of windows everywhere these are all entry points so in this scenario, it would suck for me. But you could actually prepare for this by buying 2x4s, at least, or plywood if you can. And uh, have it cut out to the exact measurement that you're going to need it one day. And then you just screw them together through the inside and the outside. Uh, because if the shit goes down for real, you're going to want to protect your home the best you can. Even though if they really want to get in, they'll get in. The thing is that if you're armed and you protect yourself, it's not going to be so easy. They might get all your stuff eventually, but you're going to take a few of them with you to the grave by protecting your home. And if they're not determined, they're going to give up and they're going to move to your neighbor's home, which, you know, it's probably not protected because odds are they are dumbasses and they voted for Hillary Clinton. Let's just be honest. But if you're a smart NRA Trump supporter like I am, then you're going to be prepared. You're going to have... A means to defend yourself, whether that be a firearms. And as you all know, I like to collect swords. I hang them all over the house. Even knives, I hang them all over the house. I got all kinds of lenses and spears ready to go. I even got shields. So, you know. Yeah, I got a kind of like a wakisashi here going on. But anyway, you'll see my videos like 
I collect this stuff. And so in this instance, I will use things like this to protect my stuff. You know, all my belongings. But um, try, if you don't plan ahead, you know, you're going to be caught. So one of these days, I'm going to go to Menards. I'm going to buy some 2 by 4s I'm just going to leave them in my garage. And then when the shit hits the fan, I'll just cut them with my saw that I have, my power tools. I'll drill them to the 2 by 4s and I'll make their life you know harder but um because you never know what's gonna or even it might not have to be a total collapse let's pretend that you have to insulate your windows because the power went off and all the cold is coming in and it's like 20 below outside and your furnace is not kicking it's not working but you have you know stuff like this for the cold you can see back here I have uh, other kinds to heat my home you know kerosene heater electric heaters all kinds of heaters I have the big buddy system somewhere and uh, I would just use that to keep my home warm in case of a uh, emergency and but you got to plan ahead. So the moral of the story is have a lot of tools also. Don't forget about tools. All right, people. Take care. Got to go. Bye-bye.